dam, uh, constructed in uh, 1964, uh, its purpose is to provide flood control for the North Thames River system, uh, particularly uh, because it's close proximity to St. Mary's. Uh, St. Mary's benefits a lot from its flood control uh, operations. Um, that has primarily always been directed towards spring runoff. Now, the repairs are to um, uh, basically repair joints uh, in what are called the baffle walls. Uh, they are a secondary wall above the gates at Wildwood Dam and during the summer the water levels are up against these baffle walls. Uh, there's four bays of gates and baffle walls and which makes eight joints that uh, we need to seal up. The dam's uh, drawn down annually. This year it's drawn down uh, significantly more so there's uh, repairs can be done on the dam. Um, as a biologist, I'd, I'd much rather see the water levels uh, as stable as possible, but the uh, repairs have to happen for the, the dam to function properly. And it's, it's, it's need, needed for say, or protecting lives and properties. Fishing. We're putting 200 volts through the water with a pulse current that uh, forces a swimming motion in the fish, draws them out of cover there. They'll be holding in beside the rocks and behind this, uh, beside this tree stump, and it draws them out and stuns them so Janelle can net them. And we're getting a whole bunch of little, mo I think mostly largemouth bass and maybe some smallmouth bass. Great. And why are you here today at uh, Wildwood? Uh, it's an opportunity when the water level is much lower than it normally is to do a bit of electrofishing. We, we don't often get to electrofish in a, a lake type setting, uh, but this is primarily used for stream and river work and small river. Um, so it's, it's, it's a bit of a unique opportunity to get into a spot where we normally could. found both species of bass, lots of largemouth, lots of little smallmouth, some perch, some uh, pumpkin seed, which are sunfish, uh, a couple of different minnow species. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good variety and, and typically what we'd find in, in a reservoir like this. Uh, we're finding some in very shallow water, so I'm assuming because of the concentration the smaller fish are moving into the shallows, both to feed and to avoid predation.